So for some reason, a lot of you guys have been requesting part two of the How to Goalie series, so here it is. Now in this instructional video, we will be looking into some never before seen methods of goaltending. In fact, it may have shooters wondering if you've ever played goalie before in your life. But trust me, that's right where you want it. So you're gonna start off with a proper warm up. Be sure to jump around to get loosened up. Try and make a lot of divots in the ice. So jump really, really high. Make sure your edges come clamping down really hard on the ice to make a huge hole. They'll hopefully trip shooters or make the puck flip on edge when they enter your crease. To start off the festivities, we're gonna cheat really hard to the glove side to give them the shot. Then do a huge dive to block the open net. If they score far down, you have to hand it to them. I mean, that's just a sweet shot. Remember to load up on the legs and spring forwards quickly to make the routine save. If there's a rebound, they'll probably go bar down, so just let your defense worry about those ones. Moving forward, we're going to be working on our aggressive deep squat turtle save. Pretend you're sitting deep on a toilet and bring your head into your body like that of a turtle. You really shouldn't see your neck here. The shooter will most likely shoot for your head. If he does, go down and wait until the ref blows his whistle. For the next variation of the deep squat turtle save, we will sink deep into our net, keeping the same form. The puck will likely get lodged in our equipment, so just hold strong until the player takes an undisciplined goalie interference penalty. If he tries to deke, the puck will most likely flip on end from the divots in the ice you made previously with the warm up. Good job. And the next save will be on the long flip play. Often players will flip the puck high into the air to fool goalies, so make sure to call for it so everyone in the arena knows you're going to catch it. Drop your stick and wave your arms and wait for the shooter to deck you. This will hurt a lot, but you just drew a two minute penalty. Good for you and good for your team. And here are some other ones for you to work on. The pad stack glove save, the windmill pad save, the axe swing paddle save, the slide tackle to take the net off, and the paddle save you didn't even know that you made. And lastly, never go outside your net to play the puck. Your defenseman will want you to do this to help them out, but screw them, that's a whole lot of work. And your opponents have a lot less equipment and more mobility, and they will end up making you look like a pylon on multiple occasions. No one needs that embarrassment. Do yourself a favor and stay in your net and curl up into a little ball. Now this style of goaltending is not for everyone. This unorthodox playing style is only suitable for those who actually want to stop the puck. Now if you're okay with having a save percentage below 9.99, then I'd probably suggest you play the butterfly. And lastly, be sure to yell big save on every save you make. There is no reason for this. It's just really fun to say.